Hello, welcome to my low vision clinic. Hello. I understand you've been having some problems since you've been diagnosed with cataracts. Yes. Yeah, and you're really struggling, aren't you? Struggling through the television. Right. Mm. First thing I'm going to do is check your colour vision because the cataracts can really obscure the vision in the colour. So if you want to hold that. And if you look through and if you can tell me what you see. 12. Excellent. Uh, that may be a 3. Okay. 5. Seventy. Thirty-five. All right. That might be a five. That might be an eight. Just a one. 71 that just looks yellow I can't see any numbers there right. no there 6 7 I think with some of these you're guessing them aren't you yes. you're trying to put a guess because you can't really see them very no. clearly no, everything looks yellowy brown in my vision. Yeah, because because of the cataract, everything your your eyes are opaque, your vision is opaque, and it is blocking out a lot of the colours. Mm. I don't think we need to go any further with this. Okay. All right. I will just check what your vision's like on first of all on the distance chart. And I need to check with one eye at a time. So if you want to cover your left eye, and if you can read down the chart for me, um, what's the smallest you could read? I think the second row down. This one here. Can you read it for me? L, D, P, L, T. Excellent. What I'm going to do, if you can do that now with your left eye and again what's the smallest you could see I can guess the third one right B I 8 C B I right I have already because this isn't an eye test this is a, a check to see how much you're being obscured. I do actually have a gadget here that will help you. Now what I want you to do is put this on and when you first put it on, it might still be blurred. But if you feel on the sides, you've got some little dials. What I want you to do is turn the dials and see if you can bring this third line into focus. Okay, that's the best I can read it. Right, because these are actually proper television glasses. And until you've had your cataract surgery, yes. something like this will be absolutely perfect for your distance vision. And you can watch television again. And I think you'll notice I've got some colours on this chart. And it brings them colours into focus as well, doesn't it? A little bit little bit you, it's still not as clear as without the cataracts but maybe read it a couple of rows down more than before Z L P E D T C fantastic all right mm -hmm. so what I'm going to do is let you take a, a pair of them away with you oh thank you so that will help you, at least you can watch your television. The other thing you was concerned about was reading, wasn't it? Yes. So what I'll do, I'll give you a reading chart. You can take them off now because that won't help you. I do want to see, using both eyes together, what's the smallest print you could read at the moment? 
and there is a number on every other one so that will give you a clue as to eight. what size so you can read the n8 do you want to read the n8 to me x u h v t i excellent what i want you to do now again i've got a gadget that will help you i've got an illuminated magnifier if you want to hold that over the n8s and read it again i think you'll find it slightly different it's a lot clearer isn't it it's darker yeah it's a little clearer you may even be able to read the n6 T R V Is that H U X The bottom one's going in and out. Right. Seems like it's moving. You know, I've got a bit of macular degeneration as well. Which I'm so under the eye hospital for. If you t tilt your head slightly to the side, you'll probably find that you can bring that into focus then. Or if I look just to the side, they told me to just look next to yeah. the target and use my side vision. Yeah, and you'll find that that brings it into focus as well. Yeah, just by looking next to it. So it doesn't jump in and out anymore. You can actually read it. But that, the size worse. Right. Um, that, what you're doing now is called concentric viewing. Right. And you're looking through the best part of the eye to find the vision. Just looking off centre, yeah. Okay. That's Und quite good. You're under the hospital. Are they doing injections or just watching? They've done injections in my right eye. Yeah. Every two or three weeks. Right. And do you find it helps? It's improved from what it was. Oh, good. Much better with the left. So this is the dry one. And this is the wet macula. Yeah. Thank right. you. Thank you. I think we'll, we'll leave it at that.